Hi friends, Grace Rizza here, and um, I've been seeing some activity online about reviews being removed and people not really sure what to do about it. So just wanted to give you an update on what's, what Google is looking for and if you've had some reviews removed, kind of why, and um, just kind of give some, some advice and some clarification here. So um, Google has spam detection algorithms. So this means that they're always looking for ways to credential your material, make sure that it's quality, make sure that it's real. So a lot of this is common sense, to be quite honest with you. Um, for instance, many reviews are flagged because of an IP address. You probably already know this, you've probably already heard this, this is not new information, but if you have patients that are signed into your Wi-Fi at your office and they are going to Google to post reviews, those reviews will likely be removed. Um, you don't want to do that. It could actually also give you a small penalty, so don't do that. Um, if there's a URL in the review, so say your patient wrote a review and then they put a link in the review back to your website or to your contact page, that could be looked at as spam. Um, again, it's common sense. It's like if someone posts a link, they're obviously trying to promote something. So that review might get removed. Um, another thing is duplicate reviews. So if you have your patients um, posting in some sort of portal that then pushes the review out somewhere, um, that's not ideal. So if your review is first posted on, say, Health Grades or Yelp, and then you ask the patient to repost it on Google, that's not good. Google wants their reviews to be unique and um, legit. That's all they're trying to do. Um, long periods of inactivity. So this one's interesting to me because um, we actually post on behalf of our clients regularly. So if you are a client of Identity Dental Marketing, your review, um, your Google Plus page is kept active by my team. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, so if you've gone six months or longer without posting on Google+, it could affect uh, your reviews and if they're being displayed. Um, what else? It's, it's not easy to get your reviews put back on Google. Remember, Google doesn't have people that are sitting there moderating and removing things. They have algorithms. So for instance, if you've broken any of those rules that I just mentioned, you've got duplicate reviews on different platforms just make sure your Google reviews are unique and um, make sure that they're posted from your patient's own internet connection not from your your office um, and make sure you stay active on Google Google Plus was a huge failure in my opinion but we see it as an important platform to keep active because after all it is Google and we're playing the SEO game we're keeping people on top and you really have to be kind of put yourself in Google's shoes. I mean, all they're trying to do is show the most relevant results on top. So just keep active. Regular activity is really the most important thing. You don't want to try to overly game the system or get super creative or take too many shortcuts or too much automation. Um, now, for review generation systems, so if you have a third-party program that texts patients and asks them for their reviews, things like that, this should be fine. As long as they're not posting the same review um, across the board in multiple places, it should be no problem whatsoever. So um, just wanted to make sure to put this information out for anybody who's concerned about their rankings or their reviews staying live. If your reviews get deleted, it's not the end of the world. I mean, if you only have five or 10 reviews and then you get a couple removed, you're gonna notice it. When you have 200, 300, 400 reviews and you, you lose a couple, you're not even gonna notice that it happened. So just stay focused on the positive, keep going. Don't feel bad to ask people for reviews and to help spread the word about what they enjoy about your practice. It's only going to help you in the long term. So thank you guys so much. If you have any questions at all for me about Google, about SEO, algorithm changes, I've been following them for 10 years. Um, you know, I've rarely seen someone get, you know, especially our clients, I've never seen anyone get hit 
with a penalty. So as long as you're doing things ethically and organically, you'll be just fine. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great day.